the bell icon to turn on notifications. In this video, we'll look at the lasso tools. To get to the lasso tools, click here in the toolbox, or you can type the letter L on your keyboard. These selection tools have similar options to the marquee tools that we saw in the previous module. The difference is that with the lasso tools, you're not confined to a set shape for your selection. I'll start with the regular lasso tool. To use it, just click and drag around the area of your image that you want to select. Now I'm using the trackpad on a laptop, which is not the most accurate way to draw anything on a computer. But if you have a drawing tablet or a pressure sensitive touch device, this can be a lot more accurate for you. And when you get to the end, the selection will either close itself or you can press enter to make sure it connects. Now you can see that I have this bird more or less selected. I'm going to deselect using Ctrl D or Command D and go into the next lasso tool. The next tool we have over here is the polygonal lasso tool. You can cycle through these by pressing L on your keyboard. This tool lets you draw your selection with straight lines that you can use to create a multi-sided shape or polygon. So I'll just start drawing around the bird. And you can see that this selection is made up of completely straight lines. You can either press enter to finish the selection or when you're close enough to the point you started with, you'll get this circle symbol here. So go ahead and finish that selection. And now you see that this one is active. I'm going to Control D again or Command D to deselect that. And let's move on to the last lasso tool, which is the magnetic lasso tool. Now this one has some different options for you. Over here, if you're using a touch device, you can use your tablet pressure to change the pen width, which can be really helpful. You can change these sliders to really fine tune the path that you make, but for now I will just leave it on its default settings. So to use the magnetic lasso tool, click and then just move your mouse around the selection you want to make. You don't have to hold any button down while you're doing this. It will just automatically try to snap to the edges that it thinks you are trying to create. Now make sure that you don't move your mouse anywhere you don't want the selection to be because it can be pretty finicky. You can press enter and now you've made a selection with the magnetic lasso tool. That concludes this video about the lasso tools. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.